Okay, well, if you if they ever catch her off guard, she's just dead. I mean, if you're Shadow Demon in this game, you probably just or Conker's think about just sitting mid and just camping. Probably, up yeah, probably probably Conker would be the one that sits around and um. No, I think SD could, yeah, SD could do that too. You, you, you get poison at level one and you, and you spam and you pressure and you make sure that the uh, that DP gets Five like the first two waves, remaining. you get all the CS and then you can leave the lane after. It's very problematic for the safe lane though because like a Kunker probably can zone like an offlane timber. Yeah, I mean, you, you need a, like I said, you need a safe lane that doesn't really need too much, you know. Yeah. But at the same time, like if timber gets like level three really early, like after the fourth wave, it's like. Almost impossible to lane against him. I really hate that when I play carries and he's like level three really early. He just stands there in the creep wave and he, you can't do anything about it. Yeah, basically I think probably the best solution is to DC's have SD conquer with a carry that can make sure that every time they disrupt the, the timber saw, they make sure they kill him. Yeah. But I, th I think that's probably the best solution for them now to deal with the timber. I would really like a Ten Juggernaut. Like, although Juggernaut is probably not the best against Void and Five timber in remaining. general, but it goes like really well with the strategy. Yeah, it's solid. Healing what for them to push. Skyra. So what is the Call Mirana? Yeah, yep. Call Mirana, and they have like arguably the two supports that are very very strong in the early game to roam, run around, pressure, yeah, win that. their lanes. Is there potential for another aggro lane here, depending on the core of Ehome? Might be like yeah, the one v one. A one v one next timber. Remaining. I mean, maybe the timber free farms for sure. Yeah, yeah. And Five DP middle remaining. might be slightly a DP favorite, I guess. Yeah, it's slightly DP favorite, but whenever the supports are missing, you have to be like really, really careful Reserve in the mid lane. Well, I think if you pressure the safe lane enough, it doesn't really matter so much that the DP gets a better time in the mid lane. I mean, you, you they don't have a save yet other than Shadow Demon, yeah. which is like not the best save against Chrono. I and think they can easily burst with Skyra. It's it's just very hard for them, I think, to kill two of the three heroes if it was an aggro lane. Like a Sky would be the kill target. He did he would never be in position to be gone on. And literally the only kill target. Like yeah. Ogre is just impossible to I kill. I mean I feel this pick is very difficult for Ehome. There's no obvious good heroes. They are extremely cornered because the lanes are very strong from DC. If they pick a carry that's super weak, they might get exploited. And the other cores can't really like you can't really move DP around. DP has to be mid. So you, you can only move the Knicks around. Like I don't know, they, they need like a really non-greedy hero, like Juggernaut is really the only yeah. one that strikes me. We heard you. No, Juggernaut's banned. We know you want Juggernaut. Juggernaut is banned. <laughs> first, Juggernaut's first banned. Do you guys oh, get glasses? I didn't see that at all. <sighs> oh, now Life I know. Stealer. Life Stealer uh, is going to be the uh, final pick for E-Home, gentlemen. I don't, think it, I don't think it's salvage the drop, but it's going to allow them to make ganks with Nyx, and hopefully that kind of ganks will help them get back into the game. But they will definitely lose the yeah, like, I'm, I'm going DC, so... Same. DC. No game for I'm gonna go DC, yeah. Two zero. Three oh, for okay, DC. Three. Winner, you wanna send it out to our casters? Sure. <laughs> go for it. Forgot who's casting. Yeah, I for actually forgot who's casting, sorry. Game we're gonna Let's... We're gonna go to game two of DC versus E home here and our casters Cap and Blitz. <laughs> Thank you so much for that stellar introduction, Winter. I'm glad we're that memorable for you. Welcome back to game two of Digital Chaos and eHome DC leading game number one up right now. And the analyst just said DC all three. Things gotta be a bit concerning if you're an eHome fan, but Blitz, are you gonna be the one to turn the tide? Do you like eHome's draft? Do you feel they have an advantage? Or are you gonna side with everyone else and say DC all the way? I actually think eHome have the better draft. I feel like this is a very good Nix Assassin game. I think he can create a lot of space uh, for the rest of the cores. Big concern for me though is whether or not DC can kind of snowball again because this time around they don't have these natural tower hitters so a lot of this game is going to come down to can they kill Ehome enough times so that Ehome just are reluctant to save their towers? And if they can't do so then Ehome will defend everything. Ehome. Old Eleven on the Nyx Assassin, already pushing out, managed to get some good aggressive wards down once again. Completely undetected, I believe. And Ehome are currently setting up for going on that bottom bounty rune. Digital Chaos keeping themselves a bit more spread. Ehome adopting with this lifesteal a last pick. Winter said it kind of salvaged the lineup. It is going to be a nice aggressive carry that will be able to set the, the pace of this game, speed it up quite a bit. And he's got some pretty juicy heroes to munch on, especially if he's able to combo up with that Nyx Assassin, which you already mentioned, could have a powerful game here. Particularly, I love it, against the Timber Saw. Stops him right in his tracks with that Spike Carapace. And 
Ehome gonna go for this top rune. Doesn't look like DC really want to contest this. As the they're gonna give move this solo safe lane as Toxa. Avoids that, and old Eleven gotta be careful here. Old He's gonna get 11. slowed up. What do you think you're doing here? Not gonna be able to stop the arrow. Still the arrow is gonna latch. Weeha punishes all the levels to the max. Picks up the first blood. He did a very good job of that. He timed it with his auto attack, so he didn't see it coming. They already knew that the Nyx assassin didn't have that spiked carapace. Very well done by DC as Old Eleven just got a little bit too greedy there. Oh no. Oh no. DC off to an incredible start now. They're going to be able to snipe the courier. That is going to be, for any mid laner, the worst thing that you're going to see on the map. I mean, if you aren't tilting yet, game number one going against you. Game number two already. A free first blood given to DC and a courier pickup. Old Chicken, he's gonna have to need a whole lot of mental fortitude to shake this one up. Because he's got a matchup against Weeha's Mirana. We have already seen some stellar performances from him in this tournament. DC gonna be running some sort of aggro duo situation. Resolution on the faces void and misery on the ogre Magi pushing up against Ehome, Bottom, Fenrir, and Ice Ice Ice. Apparently feeling that these two, this tanky duo that they've got going on is going to be disruptive enough and you could already see it doing some work. Oh, maybe not. Thought they were gonna be able to stop that pull. Misery unable to completely block it out. Ehome will be able to get uh, a creep wave denied away from digital chaos. Yeah, everything so far though that DC has gone for, it just feels like it's working out for them. Going for that courier snipe, not something that we see very often anymore just because people are so careful. But Ehome looks like concentration slipping, but they've got to pull themselves together. They've still got a full game to play, but early advantage goes to DC as we is going to have a very good time in this mid lane. The enemy mid doesn't have a courier. More importantly, he was able to get both the bounty rune and the first blood. Very early bottle boots for him. That bottle will be coming in for old chicken uh, in not too long. 30 seconds till the courier is back up and should have the, uh, the enough money for it in due time. Old 11 grabs himself for an arcane rune. Not the most amazing thing in the world. He's matched up against Moose Timberstock. This is a matchup that uh, he's faced once before. Resolution. Oh, the top lane. Maybe he's in trouble. Still has a time walk. But if they hit this disruption torrent just right, they might be able to pop him ahead of the time walk, and they did it. Very Even well done by Eho. And you've got to pressure this lane as much as he possibly can. In the last game, Eho's safe lane was just invaded so much that they couldn't really do anything about it. But this time around, they've got a hero that can match us. Ice, ice, ice. The life stealer much more effective at these early game engagements than the anti mages. They do have a rather large creep wave coming in, so DC still picking up plenty of the experience, even if they did give away one of those kills. Our, our poor Nyx assassin forced all the way back to the fountain. He's not going to be able to get the same kind of 1v1 matchup. This poor guy, like he had to deal with the timber saw last time. Notoriously hard hero to 1v1 anyway, and this time around he is to face up against a timber saw and a Skywrath mage who is currently pushing him back as fast as possible and now pulling the creep wave away. DC, ooh, Resolution gets the batch. He would need some serious RNG to be able to pull off that kill though. He need a secondary bash and even a little bit of luck to be able to pick up an extra one. Old 11, chased away, nothing major coming from that. He's just trying to get in the, the face of this lane and pick up some experience so he can start transitioning outside of lane putting that bend up to use. Yeah, and despite everything that happened in this mid lane, Old Chicken is still doing very well for himself. He has most last hits in the game, hasn't been contested too hard as we, afraid to get into a right click war with the Death Prophet, and even with the rune control on his side, not doing nearly as well as we expected. Oh, Saksa. Apparently thinks he can contest Old Chicken for this one. He throws out the slow, and last nuke! Not enough. 50 HP is what Soxa survives on. Now Weeha and Misery will push through the jungle. We'll be able to find Fenrir, slowing him down. And Weeha holding off the arrow for now. The disruption will buy him some time, but Weeha still has to leap forward. And as long as he lands this arrow, free kill. Not on the mark, though, Fenrir. Quickly sidesteps that one, and instead we're going to see a kill on Moo. The rotation comes out from Old Chicken down to that bottom lane after pushing the Skyrath Mage back with the help of Old Eleven. The old duo manages to pick up a kill on what was a terrifying Timbersaw last game. Need to put every effort they can to be able to stop him in the laning phase this time around. Yeah, they're doing a fine job of it right now. 
just trying to get somewhat even out of this lane as the Nyx Assassin struggling because he was against that dual lane. That bottom rotation, like you said, uh, pays off pretty well. And We're at bottom, again. 11. Spike Care Face buys him a bit of space. Yeah. What a chase for Take some of the damage. Oh, my, though. He's here. We'll be able to respond. Misses the torrent, though. A little bit too late on that one to punish move. He hit him underneath that tier one tower. Don't think they would have killed him, but they at least would have been happy with the harass they got back to the hands of DC. Pretty surprising that he opted to not go for a single point of that X marks the spot, but I guess he feels that he's going to be roaming around with Fenrir anyways, and he can get a little bit more utility out of that Tidebringer, but unable to land the kill as the Nyx Assassin is zoned out, and meanwhile at top, Life Sealer going to be in a one-on-one -on -one situation. As Misery makes his way up, going to make that a 1v2, and we've seen in the past what happens with this matchup. The Faceless Void does quite decently against the Life Stealer, just because Life Stealer has notoriously bad armor, just two to his name, as Faceless Void 79 base on him feels very comfortable trading right clicks. Yeah, all you have to do is start putting the pressure on him, you get a couple lucky bashes, the Life Stealer's low, you may even feel comfortable throwing out the solar chronosphere and going for that kill. Now, all TC's cores right now have great CS. E home, their two cores are looking pretty good. Old Chicken is gonna show up once again in this bottom lane. They're gonna go for move with combo with stun, the disruption leading into their spike, and even the spike care pace, making sure there's no escape. E home will be able to pick up one and maybe another. Soxa will be able to get back into the trees just barely. E home are still in the hunt though. Moonlight Shadows bought them a little bit of time, but E home still have that exorcism out and feel comfortable. Diving in behind this tower, at least in between the tier 1 and tier 2 area, controlling any potential escapes. They're going to start getting some damage on the tier 1 now. And DC waiting as the Exorcism is about to fade out. Yeah, DC not really going to get a lot out of this as maybe if Weeha was still standing in this mid lane, he could zone out Lanem, but instead, Ehome going to get a lot out of this map, and they're not going to punish the fact that Old Chicken had already used that Exorcism. Would you say all these rotations are worth it? Moving the Death Prophet multiple times down to the bottom lane, and even now another four heroes just to be able to shut down like this again. The Timber Saw dies again. They're completely shutting him out. Now the rest of the DC cores are getting something out of the lane, sure. Do you think this is worth it for Ehome? So much commitment to shut out the Timber Saw in the laning phase. Oh, very much so. Especially since every single time that he starts to progress in items, they just slam him back down. He's well worth it in terms of XP as well. That's a level 6 Timber Saw that you're ganking up, and it's not even like the other two lanes are suffering as a result. Resolution trying to apply this pressure, but Ice 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 not really feeling it is this mid lane. Miha's doing a lot of damage to this tower. Maybe if they can get this kill on Fenrir, but... Only firing more Radiance warning shots. Now afraid to defend the tier one in the bottom lane, e home They brought so many members of their team to the bottom lane time and time again. DC will just give up their safe lane tower instead trying to pressure mid as well as top. Yeah, this mid tower is going to be very valuable for them, especially because they have this Marana ultimate. Being able to just Moonlight Shadow across the map up into here instead of having to go all the, the way around is going to be effective for them. And they're going to be able to take the high ground through most of this is now they want to start five manning up they're going to abandon this bottom lane we were already making the rotation up they might be able to grab this kill resolution being a little bit too over aggressive though he wants ice ice, ice. He's gonna back up he's keeping that creep wave oh the arrow almost lasts there they will be able to get a silence on the ice 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 the star storm lands but pretty pretty clear that ice will live but He's not done just yet. Old Eleven's gonna come in. He popped the Vendetta. They have that infest combination. And Digital Chaos do not have any counter wards down just yet. Old Eleven might be able to get the perfect initiation. They're gonna go for Moo. Poor old Moo. He's been the punching bag for Eom this whole entire time. And if they do hit the Earth Spike, this will be a perfect one. But instead... It looks like they really want Weeha instead, though. This is gonna be close. He's gonna leave with the Vendetta, trying to hit the Earth Spike. They managed to hit a Chrono Spear on a Just Benver. Now to jump in, but they missed the Earth Spike! Weeha's got forward last half second. Benver will go down eventually here. Pops the disruption. Old Eleven sounds up, unable to do anything to save either one of his allies as they both go down. Old Chicken has popped the exorcism. He's gonna beat with Old Eleven now. They managed to see Weeha underneath that counter ward. The Moonlight Shadow not gonna be a safe great tier. Current gets the Star Storm at the very end to claim the kill. Now Old Chicken gonna be focused down by three members of Digital Chaos. Old Chicken trying to lift his spirit side and exorcism. Not enough! He dies, Resolution lives, and Digital Chaos win the fight. That was all ruined by the fact that we just 
randomly jumps forward into the chronosphere, saving himself from the Nyx assassin and wasting so much time. They saw him at the edge with that sentry ward. So well done by him. Quick reactions. Yeah, just barely catches a glimpse the last half second and is able to leap ahead of that impale of the Nyx assassin. Tier 1 tower still not dead at that top lane, Digital Chaos. We put a lot of members up here to take away that safe lane tower, but E-Home are going to hold on to it. And E-Home, even though they led with that early start, made possible by the both supports and this Death Prophet moving around, it's all gone now as DC picked up so many objectives up the top. They didn't grab the tower, but three core kills going to be enough. As they're going to make another move. Silence up the Skyrath Mage Ultimate. They'll make it look easy between Misery and Zaxa. Kill Old Eleven's Nyx Assassin. In DC battling back in a big way, six to five. This team, not a lot of people on hoping them, but here they are, taking the advantages. Is this top tower gonna drop? E home can't do anything to defend it. Is looked like they wanted to, but way too far behind. Eleven to two. We see that gold lead actually being picked up by Digital Chaos now. Twenty five hundred to their favor. After these last couple of engagements, they've taken that tier one tower at the top lane to Ice Ice Ice. Looks like he's got 1500 gold. Normally it would be armor that he's not going to fight, is he? I can't imagine that he does. Yeah, that, I mean, that would be a serious sign of something going wrong if he feels like this game is so out Radiant's that he needs that recovery. And he's pretty far down there in network for now, but if they just get a couple of successful ganks, it will all be okay. Yeah, this is a lot of time wasted, though. These are two cores just hanging out together, not getting any XP, and Ice 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 says this is going nowhere, immediately going to pop out, and it is the armor to purchase from him. Okay, well this will be one way where he can keep up the farm while he's sitting inside that Nyx Assassin. This farming item will allow him to keep the pace, but it's not really what you want to be able to do with the Light Stealer. Normally, you want to be able to use the Light Stealer in conjunction with the core like the Nyx Assassin and be successfully moving around the map and getting pickoffs, and that's what gives you the They actually spot Old Chicken. He accidentally goes for the auto attack. Uh-oh. Invis going to go out as... Well, He's gonna back out. DC were pretty oh, scared too. Old Eleven gets hit by the arrow. Star Storm, not gonna be enough by itself. Old Eleven still has to spike Carapace. And he will retreat. So far so good though for Digital Chaos as Weeha already has two components of that Aghanim Scepter. Halfway to the third one as well. And Ehome. I mean at one point it looked like they just wanted to battle all over the map, but I think after that disastrous top fight gonna get dissuaded from doing so, especially with Ice Ice Ice's uh, Midas pickup, like we said. Not a fighting item whatsoever as mid. Well, 11 spotted out once again. The counterboard goes down, and he may end up dropping here. Not gonna be hit by the arrow. Dodges the socks as ult. They've got another counterward, but no dust. So old 11 stays one step ahead of Digital Chaos. He's just buying some time for his team right now, but... Oh, he may even be able to get the tank. Blue hit some serious trouble. He won't have a tank training. He didn't need to work off the man to hit the Earth Spike, and they take him down. Old Eleven is going to be hit here. Resolution drops the Chrono Sphere, but it's, again, only focused on Old Eleven. Well, Old Chicken is free to use that Exorcism, but now he's facing up against four members of Digital Chaos and retreats, knowing that he doesn't really have the backup to press forward. And they still want to try to pursue this just because... They feel like Ehome aren't in a strong position, but Ehome. Arrow! Oh, where they get hit! Now he's gonna be silenced! Disruption save from Fenrir, though. He'll be okay. They'll take the ward away from Digital Chaos. And the ghost's gonna return to him. This is gonna end the fight for both teams as DC don't have a lot to pursue with. Instead, they're gonna look towards mid. Ice, ice, ice. Just continue to try to farm away. Kind of barely dodge that arrow. Well, he's making a bit of recovery now. He's at 5k right there next to the uh, Faceless Void as well as the Marana. So between the Midas and the extra bit of space, he's beginning to catch up. And that Midas will only get more effective as time goes on. Old Eleven continually hunting around the map, serving as a potential ganking hero, but also getting a lot of space bottom lane misery. X, Dark Disruption, into Torrent, into Boats. A combination that even takes out a tanky support like Ogre Magi with the help of that Soul Catcher from Fenrir. Yeah, very easy kill for them and Ehome in this game. Still trying to create space through their two supports, but 
And DC are still doing okay. They want to be able to utilize this Void Chronosphere off of cooldown as much as they possibly can to keep themselves in it. We talked about how they don't have these natural power hitters. Resolution's going to have to build himself into one. As otherwise, DC, they're going to have to start ramping up the aggression, but with Moose Farm slowed down so much as a result of these back-to-back -back ganks, he's just not able to contribute like he did in the last game. Yeah, he said they don't really have tower hitters, right? And that becomes... Uh, so much harder when you look at, like, Venmir, he's going to have an Ether Lens pretty soon. He's already got the Arcane Boots, he's got the Recipe, uh, and he's got 250 gold in the bank. That is probably one of the, the tournament's big defending heroes right now, is that Shadow Poison has proved to be incredibly effective at being able to hold towers from a distance. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Did you see yeah. They're smoked up, trying to make their way up, up at top. But not going to find anything, even if they go through the jungle, Ehome senses this. They're immediately going to make their own move as Old Eleven has that Life Sealer inside of him. They're going to wait for at least one of the t supports to TP before they go for this. Well, they don't have the Yules yet for Old Chicken, so... they bit disappointed in that, but he does have a full out hood. And with that fresh activatable, the last patch, that extra bit of 325 magic damage that he's able to soak up, he may stand a chance against what is probably going to be the focus of the Skyrath Mage Ultimate. They're going to run into each other here. The smoke leading up. Oh, he's going for it. the Ehome right into the trap. Ehome, they spring it. They get one. Can they get a second one? Toxa slowing him down. Immediately hit by the Spike Carapace. He's going to be stalled up. And clipped by the Shadow Poison. Trying to throw the TP out. The stun is there, though. DC had lost to Ehome. They found their opening bottom lane. Resolution feeding into Lana. On him, trying to get away. Not going to be able to make it to the top. Another torrent, but a multi cat comes in. And that will surely end his life. Moo will claim the kill as he is desperate for some comeback gold. Yeah, for a second, it looks like he'd be able to get out of there, but with that multi cat, no way that you can arm one talking through that as he won't make their own move. Trying to take out this mid tier one tower, but of course, being one of the more important ones. DC are going to respond in kind. They're going to get this tier one, but are they going to survive for it? Already the TP coming forward. Ooh, nice cancel there. Resolution choosing not to pursue. Didn't have the Chronosphere anyway. And would have been jumping straight into an impale from Old Eleven. Now Old Eleven comes forward. Weeha. Not going to be his target. He's going to go deeper inside the jungle. Lying in wait. Getting some information. He knows that by himself, He's not able to kill any of his heroes, but a squishy little pumpkin will do. Old Eleven, he finds something that he can kill, and that's the curve. And that's going to artificially delay Wii's Aghanims by at least another three minutes, even though he almost has the gold for it. That's going to slow down the Marana quite a bit, as now Death Prophet has that Yule Scepter completed. He's got a setup combo to be able to kill the Marana with that Yule into the silence. And DC, again, they've got to just play around the cooldown of this Chronosphere. Whenever Resolution has it up, that's their moment to go for a smoke. Just like that, Ice Ice Ice's Hand of Midas not looking too shabby. As he's top of the net worth board, sharing it with the Death Prophet right now. He's got Midas, he's got Armlet, and even a Mithril Hammer building into that Desolator. So we're going to see a big-time life stealer come into the game at that 20-25 minute mark and take over Digital Chaos are going to have to find some sort of response, and it's probably going to be all about the initiation. They need to be able to stop these constant mixed assassin incursions into their jungle and make sure they don't give the life stealer a free ride to an enemy hero. And the best way to prevent that is obviously to go for the five man of your own. Try to slow down whatever progression that this Nyx can go for. Resolution setting up at bottom. Doesn't realize that old 11's down here too. What can they do to stop it? Is Resolution digging himself a little bit further down here? Now he's gonna show old 11. Doesn't want to go under this tower though. Right at the edge of this tower's vision. Oh, they ping him. They saw him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a little too close, and now he will be caught out. Nice, nice, nice. The ruse is up, so he pops his head out, goes to creep wave, but they don't go for any damage on the tier two, fearing the chronosphere of resolution. This is really how this game and this current flow of the game could really turn against evil. The right chronosphere 
set up into the timber saw and his chakram they've got weeha's arrow and starstorm that can go down and probably the best combination of all soxa's mystic flare and we'll get the full out damage onto one of these four heroes they have this beautiful wombo combo that ehome have to be constantly aware of resolution just farming up the enemy jungle now not gonna wait for that bottom bait like he was for most of this time period is DC. Hey, normally you want to catch a lot of heroes in this Chronosphere, but if they could just kill Ice Ice Ice, it's all going to be worth it. The arrow prolonging that stun is going to be enough. Digital Chaos. They throw the kitchen sink at him, and they hit him right on the head. Nine to nine now, 20 minutes in, and Digital Chaos evening out the kill score here and keeping the game close it's manageable only a 2000 gold lead for ehome about 3500 experience their dire side though and roshan is a constant possibility if either team isn't careful they're gonna want to do it soon too just because whoever does get chrono is liable to just die like that if you can put it on your life stealer then you can send them away to farm and if dc wastes chronos on that you're perfectly okay with that and we talked about how Resolution had to pretty much use it whenever it was up. He's been able to do so. And now DC gathered around this bottom lane, waiting to see if the rest of the heroes will connect. So Weehaw's gonna make his way down with Resolution. Finally gets that Aghanim Scepter from the Courier, and his farm will start speeding up a little bit to see if he can catch up to uh, Soul Ice Ice Ice. Digital Chaos currently forming a four-man crew to push down the tier one tower at bottom lane, but they're going to be met by Old Eleven's Nyx Assassin with Ice 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 inside as a life stealer. Now he's getting into the middle of these heroes. Here's a TP coming out. If they have the right impale, this could instantly pop a hero. Weeha trapped inside the trees. He's going to be stuck. Can he leap away? Gets a force staff. Still a leap available, but he's pulled back into the torrent by X marks the spot, and he's done for. Move going to go for the TP out. He'll be successful there. No stuns from Ehome to stop him. So they traded Lanham's Kunkka for Weeha's Marana, a beautiful trade for Ehome. Yeah, very well done by them, responding in kind, but at the same time, a little bit sloppy from DC. They didn't have the Sentry Ward down in a position where it could help them out all the way down here, didn't anticipate the move through the Widiver, and it's gonna cost them dearly. Yeah, they cannot go for tower pushes like that without the proper counter ward set up. And now they're actually giving a little bit of space to Old Chicken, and they may not be here in time. The disruption will stop the Skyrim phase open in front of Spear, but finish him off. But now Mook comes in, Chakram, and pure damage wipes out the Death Prophet. They go into Old Eleven next. He's definitely dead, and now they want even more. Ben here behind the tier one tower, but that's not safety. Moo, he'll pursue things out. He's got the Timber Chain ready to go. A long one pass into the tier two tower. But that is where he decides to end his forward jump. Now Ice 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 actually managed to close the gap. He found Soxa with the Moonlight Shadow down. And Ice 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 no counter vision there. The range goes down with the bow and the torrent on the mark. Dale's misery, but Ice 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 disrupts him just in time. He had a third HP. Come back, Mamu. Oh, the Whirling Death so anti climactic. They need to pursue for this. He'll find Lonim as well. Another Whirling Death. Lonim, he's going to be taken out as well. As he's going to try an armlet toggle, but he's surrounded by so many heroes. There there is no prayer, no hope for Ehome to survive through that engagement. Ice 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 choosing to find an opening and go for Soxa there. Leads into an engagement that is so bad for Ehome. Ehome, poor town. Not the kind of start that they wanted here as Misery might just get picked off with Resolution waiting in the wings. Old Eleven trying to decide if this is worth it. Can he get the kill on Misery and still get out? It's going to require him to hit the Vendetta. He's got a blink up and before it's down. For it. Jesus, Old Eleven, he was so close to landing that hit. That would have been disaster. Decides against it now as Misery's natural. Oh, he's going to start running into the sentry. Misery. The sentry he's going to find the angle on him too. Old this thing goes so bad. Get the stun. The follow up. We hop going to be able to nail the arrow. The spike here makes a little bit of time on Old Eleven. He has no defense capabilities now. That hesitation cost him dearly as he wasn't really sure if he wanted to go for that. At the last second he decides, I'm going to go for it. Instead goes down and e home He repels back and Moo, look at him die. Moo underneath the tier 2 mid. Another extra smart mark spot. Will control him. He tries to timber chain away. Dying the will be able to dodge all that. But Chronosphere comes in and now Moo he zips away, but he didn't need to because Resolution's made a beautiful initiation. He already killed the back line. Shadow Demon dead, and Ice 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 had half HP. Another rage is coming up for him. So they could fight. They also have the Exorcism out, which means DC, they call that a huge win. They got pickoffs. They forced a big time ultimate, 
and didn't lose anybody for it. I mean, look at Mu go. He just solo dives. His team wasn't even really prepared for that. Resolution was making the long way around. He manages to get in there, get out, and he even forces the exorcism out of Old Chicken. That was one of the best abilities that Ehome were going to have to defend. And instead, it gets popped for absolutely nothing. DC in such a good position right now. They certainly are. Ehome struggling to be able to defend this tower. They're going to come out now. X marks the spot, but an arrow. It nails all 11. Disruption save. Once again, the court on the two. Maybe Ice Ice can actually kill something for once, but the four staff is keeping him at bay. Oh, he's going to get a low here. Anybody? Move. Yule Scepter. He's going to need a beautiful Tamper Chain, but decide it's not even worth the effort. Just commits the Bloodstone suicide. Making Ehome look a little sad there. They really needed that kill bounty to get back into this game as they just been run over by DC in the last few engagements. Yeah, and right now a large part of that is just because they have no natural ways to get into fights. The only way that they can start a fight is if Old Eleven kind of walks in, invis, blink daggers in, but DC have very good responses to him. As if he pops out with Ice 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 and it's not on a resolution, he's always going to counter front of that. Yeah, he'll be able to lock two heroes for one. And once again, they're going to make their way into this jungle, DC. Maybe not be prepared this. Did they spot that out? I think... Oh, they might have seen this. Yeah, they're I think... like crazy. He was there just long enough. That TP was there just long enough. Now they're going to jump... Oh! completely. Resolution beautifully timed with that time block. That was just pure guesswork. So well done so far from DC. Everything seems to be just breaking their way. First that jungle engagement where the Nyx wasn't entirely sure if he wanted to go for it. Hesitates, ends up not getting a kill and getting himself killed instead. Now in that situation right there, a time walk out at the last possible second as old 11 went for it. Decided he didn't even want to get the hit. He was yeah. trying not to be greedy. He was just trying to impale straight out of that Vendetta. Not gonna be the case though. E home. They are playing a full defense game now. They're trying to set up with this constant Kunkka running forward with X marks the spot with a blink dagger and arm lint. Hitting the creep waves. Not making any real commitment, but he's got to be careful. Oh no, they actually got spotted doing this. They're going to know that Ehome are going to go for something. Yeah. And Misery going to front line for DC, DC. Maybe they can still catch him all 11 if he gets the right blink in here. Smoke the smoke and it's getting 10 boo and boo. Almost getting blown up again. Get the up for him. And now the old scepter save. Old 11 brought back into the chronosphere. Old chicken, he has to do so much here with his exit. Ben Mir already dead with the Skyrim Mage ultimate going down. Old chicken in the middle of all these heroes, but DC dancing in and out. He's not trying to prevent this proper from doing too much. They managed to take off old 11. It's Boo. He strikes back once again. Half HP will chase down Monum as well with the help of his free armlet toggling again. Never going to be enough against the temper. He hide it. Raises up. He tries to go for the back. I, I, I can't latch on to anything. And they start retreating once again. But DC in and out once again. They're pursuing Ice Chakra. Not on the land. I, I, I tries to go for a trick. He gave me up, but no. Who says no way in hell? You don't make it out alive. All five dead from E home as DC wiped them and don't lose anything. I mean, DC could just be one push away from securing themselves a top four berth over maybe one of the tournament favorites, E home. Never meant to be here, but they don't care. It's they're making their way in E home. They don't even have any abilities if they respawn. The exorcism is still down for a minute and a half. DC senses weakness. 21 to 10, 29 minutes in, and our first tier three is down. Now Old 11 comes in, trying to stop or at least slow down this progression from DC. As they're beating up the range, back the torrent and the boat, gonna come in. Misery nailed by that Nyx assassin spike hair face to jump forward by Weehawk. It's a lot of damage on the Old 11. He's been dead it up, thinking twice though about whether or not he wants to go in. All of DC are low, but they retreat after taking the melee racks. E home losing that melee racks they're going to be so demoralized here as they have just not been able to string together a fight we talked about how it was only this nyx assassin that was going to be able to open up the fights for them that is not enough to save but once he goes down e home they're just left helpless they got kited so hard in that last fight none of the core is able to actually utilize any of their items 
They as need... PC, they just get further and further ahead. They needed Ice 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 and Old Eleven to be able to take over the game and, and just make a numbers advantage happen for Ehome with that initiation. Be able to jump on someone, hit the impale, pop them with the Nixus, or Nix Assassin and the Life Stealer, but it's just not happening. All these defensive force stats just keep coming out from uh, Digital Chaos, and as the game progresses, they're going to have more and more to deal with. Rule Scepter has already caused them so many issues when they try and go on to move. There's a Glimmer Cake now for Soxa, and look at that. The tanky item picked up Solar Crest for Misery, making life hell for any right clicker that doesn't have MKB, and that's a long time coming in this game for Ego. It is insane to think about that at one point in the American Open Qualifiers DC, we're a game away from losing the complexity, might not even be here, and now they're one push away from securing themselves a top four. This bottom push, they understand how far ahead they are, 12K lead for them and it doesn't get easier for Ehome. They do not have the type of lineup that does better when they get far behind like this. And Old 11, you're gonna need a Miracle Initiation, and that means not running into this counter ward that's set up. He's a bit scared. He knows how dangerous his position is. Oh, the Moonlight Shadow goes down. They spotted that one out. Ehome, they could set a trap here. They see the counter ward. They see the impale three. They have lined up. Is there going to be enough? On the ball, and the ball, two, two. They got three. Only gonna drop two. Old Ticket gonna be able to find out. Misery, Moonlight, Shadow, Glimmer, Cave. Misery might just get away. But on the side, much more important is Boo. The Timber Saw is paramount. They need to be able to finish off. And now let's get that Bloodstone suicide. He Timber Chase left hand side. Trying to make his way up, but he commits the Bloodstone suicide. They can't get Misery. Ice 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 like a goddamn Bloodhound. He keeps on pursuing out Misery. Hoping to be able oh, to get down to him. But Misery, he's too fast. And Misery wasted so much time of that life stealer. DC technically only losing one as the Faceless Void goes down, but Moon able to get the Blood Zone Suicide off, and that's gonna mean DC gonna come right back for this. They don't want to give this Roshan up. The arrow making it a bit easier for Ehome, but look at this. Old 11, he's pushing out. This is pretty classic whenever a team tries to go for Roshan. There's always going to be a response from the opposing team. You'll see sometimes these initiations. The team tries to set up the defend mode. It all goes wrong for them, but look at this setup, man. Old 11, he needed a miracle initiation, and boy, did he find it. Three-man impale into the torrent and the boat. You couldn't ask for a better setup. Yeah, without the sentry wards pushing in, DC, their two supports have to be on top of this, and this time around, look at Soxa's inventory, five sentries, realizing there's only one way for Ehome to initiate, and they got it off. If they can prevent that, DC, they're gonna say, that's a fluke, let's go for it again. They're gonna gather up in this bottom lane. Oh, but what happens if Ehome push out aggressively and manage to catch DC before the counter wards are laid down? As I see that one sentry already placed inside the jungle, but do they have another one in the lane because it could be Ehome. They look for the wraparound, but Old Eleven, he decides against it. Spidey sense is tingling, perhaps. Makes the read that it is not appropriate for them to go into that jungle. It's the correct one, too. He's got to be careful with that payload that he's carrying. When he goes into the jungle like that, it's not just his own life that will be forfeit. If he's caught out, it's going to be Ice Ice Ice's as well. And Ehome were fully prepped for that fight. Feel confident that they can take it at that angle. But DC gonna avoid, and instead it's gonna be Ehome that smoked together as five. And they wanna do the full wraparound. This is interesting. Ehome, they're not actually trying to go too deep in the jungle here. They just say, let's get into the jungle and wrap around behind mid. And that's what they threw anyway, but now they're gonna go for Roshan instead. They give up the tier two in top lane. Weehaw takes that one for free. I think Ehome. Oh, they're gonna smoke under that ward. Oh, DC. All right, old 11. Carrying the life sealer inside once again. They're gonna leave the death prophet inside the Roshan pit to try and finish someone out. Moonlight Shadow goes down. Old 11 already being spotted though. And now oh, the corner is completely whipped. BKB activated, but Ehome, they haven't found an initiation yet either. Boo, he's been hit by the egg, but Yule Scepter's himself, and he'll Ehome's be gotta go back. They don't have any of their abilities up again. The exorcism and the BKB, they're full fading away. And Ehome, well, that initiation wasn't great from the Chronosphere. Neither was Ehome's response. Neither team finding an initiation that suits them, and both will back away. DC with its DD Mirana Bloodlust set up. They're gonna go for this Roshan for themselves, and Ehome just have to give it up for them. Three kids going DC's way. 
challenges for resolution now. And that was the one hero you said, if you don't jump on resolution, he's always going to counter you with the Chronosphere when you make that Nyx Assassin and Light Stealer drum. Well, now they can't even go on resolution. He's got, first of all, a 10 second BKB. Second of all, an Aegis, a second life for him. It's damn near impossible for Ehome to kill him outright without that Chronosphere going down. In this bottom lane, now they start to push. Even without the Chrono available, Resolution now has that freshly minted BKB. It's gonna be very hard to take him down as Ehome. Don't have the best ways to deal with it. As their only source of damage that's gonna go through is the Life Stealer right click or this Death Prophet Exorcism. And Ehome makes sense that. Already gonna pop into Old 11. Ice, 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 lies in wait. But so many sentries laid across this path, but this might prompt DC to go back. They don't have any more with them. Well, five seconds until Resolution has his Chronosphere, but sure enough, DC will I'm back. I'm gonna wait for the jet. Oh, that's smart. And get anything to counter this initiation from the Nyx Assassin. Speaking of him, he spots Weeha in the mid lane. He's kind of separated from his team. His team right now doing some counter warding. But they begin to group up, and Ehome's opportunities are dwindling. DC push through this mid lane. They just are pushing in every lane that they can. They sense that they're still ahead. There's no reason to make any sort of panic moves. They can wait out to Sagus if they want. Play until it has about three minutes left. E home behind though. By so much. BKB for we. They digital chaos discipline right now. They're just ensuring they have every advantage they could possibly need before they go for another high ground push. The mid lane of Rax already gone. DC, to reasonably say they completely control this game, it's gonna need a second lane of Rax. They start going uphill now. Resolution leading the charge. Lanham going to try and pose as the defense here. Kunkka spamming out his occasional Type Ringer and X Marks and spot combination, but it's nowhere near enough to keep DC back. Resolution still at full HP, thanks to his lifesteal. He'll time walk away and wait for the next creep wave. They're getting the chip damage they need to win this game. It's up to Ehome to fight the right initiation here. Yeah, another arrow whips. Resolution. Finally starting to take some damage, but doesn't seem too concerned about it. He knows that Ehome have to commit for this fight now. Here comes the Chrono. He does four, down to three. Boom, with the talk about it, too. Oh, chicken. Oh, no. Ehome, they're just getting obliterated. One, two, three, down. Vampire's gonna make it four. Ice, ice, ice with some rebuttal trying to go on a misery. But now, Moo, he stalled up Old Chicken with his Yule Scepter and a full retreat from Digital Chaos. They managed to force a, a buyback there, force an exorcism as well. And all they have to do now is wait outside the base, wait for the exorcism to fade. And how can e home defend them? And the arrow's not gonna hit, but Old Chicken left alone now. Not even waiting for the exorcism. They start immediately focusing on Old Chicken. They got no more. Continues as DC will move on after beating the Chinese juggernaut Emo. Send home in the round of six. Unbelievable. What a loser's bracket run by Digital Chaos so far. You call them misfits. You call them the rejects. You call them the players that couldn't make it at the tier one teams. But here they are. They look like champions to me, Blitz. At one point, Misery said, I'm embarrassed that I never came in as the favorites into a TI. And all of a sudden with this...